In this video, we will take a look on how you can define API routes in the Next.js 13 app directory. So just yesterday, the Next.js 13.2 version was released and with it came these route handlers. And these route handlers are basically a replacement for the traditional API routes. We can read from the announcement that they support both Edge and Node.js runtimes and features like general purpose static rendering and revalidation. And the way we use these route handlers is by using this route.js or ts file. And we need to export a synchronous function from it named by the HTTP verb that we want to target. So get, post, uh, put, delete, so on. And one thing to note is also that this route.js or ts file is a special file and they are not available in the pages directory as they are a replacement for the API routes and they are only available under the app directory. But enough of talk, let's take a look how we can use these in action. So let's start by creating a fresh Next.js project and I will do it with yarn create next app and then give it a name. So let's run this. All right, once it's run, let's open up this in VS Code. All right, uh, so let's take a look on the full structure in this project. So as you saw when running the create next app, I chose to use the app directory. So it created one for me over here. And as you can see, it didn't create a pages directory anymore, which it used to do before this. And actually I tested this out like six hours ago and it still generated the pages directory, but looks like they get, got rid of that now. And it's just using the app directory if you choose to use it when prompted when creating the project. So right here, we can right away open this app directory and we can see that we have the API folder and inside of that we have a hello folder and there we have that route.js file. And if we open it up, we can see that we are exporting a synchronous function called get and returning a new response, hello next JS. So let's just fire this up and test it out. So I will open up the terminal and fire up the dev server and let's navigate to that localhost 3000. It looks like the front page is opening. So let's try to access that API route by going to the slash API slash, and I think it was uh, hello, like this. And what do you know? We get the text hello next JS. So we can see that this API route is working right now. So we are making a get request to the hello API route and we are getting the response back. But what if we wanted to make an API route and post something to it? So let's say we wanted to post something to this uh, hello API route. So let's switch back to the VS code and inside the same route.js that is inside of the hello folder, we can actually just add a new function below the get function like this. So we are exporting a synchronous function and we are using the post verb now because we want to catch the post request. And for now, let's just return some JSON so we can test it out and see that we are actually getting the uh, post request to this API route. So I'm going to just return response.json and let's say message is hello from post route like this. Let's save it. And now we can't do it with the uh, browser because this is making a get request. So what we want to do is actually make a post request. So I'm going to open up my Postman. So if you're not familiar with Postman, this is a tool that you can use to make API requests. So right here, I'm going to make a new request and I'm going to copy the address from the browser, paste it in. And then from here, I will choose post because we want to make a post request and that should be it. Let's hit the send button. And what do you know? We get the message, hello from post route. And now if we change this up to 
get request, we can send it and we get the response from the uh, get function. One thing you should note though is that we are now making the request to slash API slash hello. And if you remember with pages directory, we had to put the API routes inside of an API directory. And that way Next.js knew that, okay, these are API routes. But that's actually not the case with the route handlers because we can define a route file inside of any folder inside of the app directory as long as there isn't a page.js file in it or page.ts file. So let's try that out by actually creating a new folder to this app directory and I'm gonna call it blog posts and inside of that I will create a new file called route.js. So let's say we wanted to get some blog posts when we hit the uh, localhost slash blog posts like this. So for now it doesn't do anything. It says 405 because we haven't implemented the function yet. So let's do that. So export async function called get because we want to target the get request method. And let's actually fetch some blog posts from an other API and then return those. So I will define a variable and then use fetch to get some blog posts. And the API we are gonna use for this example is the JSON placeholder API. So this is just an API that returns some dummy data that you can use when testing or developing. And we want the posts, so the address will be, let's open it up in the browser first. So it's JSON placeholder .com slash posts. So we can see it returns some uh, fake blog posts for us. So let's copy that URL and paste it into the fetch like this. And then let's get the posts like this. And now we can return a response and we want to return JSON and let's return the posts like this. So let's try it out. I'll open up my postman and now let's try to make the uh, API call to the slash blog posts and looks like we are getting the blog post data back to our postman. So the get route is working for that. And as you can see, we can call different APIs inside of the route handlers and do a bunch of stuff in, inside of here before our returning response. And again, if we wanted to have an other endpoint for this, so let's say we want to have the post endpoint also, all we have to do is define the post function. And then inside of here, we could do some logic for uh, posting a blog post, for example, and then for our testing purposes, let's just return response and a message like this. So we can see that we can hit the post endpoint and I switch to the postman change the get to post and make the request and looks like it's returning the correct message. And if we wanted to do, for example, uh, delete, again, export async function and delete. And then inside of here, do any logic we want and let's just test it out like this and test it out with postman. So let's change the post to delete and make the request and we get the correct message. So that's how you can use API routes in the Next.js 13 app folder by using the route handlers. And I just wanted to show you guys real quick on how to use them and how they work because many of you have been asking me on how to use API routes in the app folder. And this is the answer, the route handlers. I didn't go very deep on all the other stuff we can do with the route handlers, but if that's something you would like to see, please let me know in the comments and I will make 
uh, that kind of video where we take a little deeper dive on uh, what else you can do with them and how they work. Hopefully you still got something out of this video and if you did please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are not already.